two years ago, I quit my corporate job to create my own startup. Here's a week in my life. I live in Singapore, and this was going to be a very busy week for me, filled with meetings and traveling back to the UK for a conference to try and find new sales leads for my company. My first meeting of the week was with the construction company Mott McDonald, where I was demonstrating our AI software for civil engineering. Hello, everyone.、Uh, so I just finished my first meeting of the day with Mott McDonald, and now I'm going to go home. Do some coding and、uh, pack my bags, ready for my flight back to my homeland of the UK later on this evening. One of the hardest things about a startup is needing to wear many hats. On a typical day, you could be speaking to an investor about your company financing one minute, a customer about feature requests with the software the next minute, and in my case today, it was coding from the airport. Landing back in the UK, I was amazed to see that it wasn't raining. I'd have some time to rest and recover before waking up the next day and heading into London to attend one of the largest geospatial and construction conferences that happens in the UK. It was really awesome to travel on the new Elizabeth Line. This was one of the first projects I helped to design when I started as a civil engineer. Uh, why have I decided to fly back to the UK just for one week?、Um, so the reason for that is because there's a big conference happening here、um, on geospatial、uh, technology. So we decided to come back here、uh, to meet some really important people who are attending this event. So after 15 hours of flying, let's see how it all goes. <laughs> Heading into the event, I was feeling slightly jet lagged, but I was quickly woken up by the awesome technology on display. At the event, I managed to speak with all the important people I needed to. Sometimes it can be really important to meet people in person, but also sometimes these conferences can be a complete waste of time. This conference was great, and I ended up leaving with about twenty new leads for our company. The next day, I woke up bright and early, and I was heading into London once again. This time, traveling on the Elizabeth Line was a slightly more unpleasant experience, as I realized how busy the London Underground can be sometimes. I'd be meeting with Arup, one of the most famous construction design companies in the world, to show them our startup, Civils AI, and how it can be used to automate tasks on construction projects. Their office was so nice, and I had a great introduction to the team there. After this, I needed to set off to head to the British Geological Survey, which was in another city outside of London. I was explaining to them how we could use our AI technology to turn all of their geological records into a big digital twin of all the UK landscape and geology. In the time I had remaining before my flight, I did some coding and then headed to the airport to fly back to Singapore. It's been a very quick. Five days, and see you soon. <laughs> If you've enjoyed this video and you're interested in AI in civil engineering, please do check out Civils AI or follow us on YouTube, LinkedIn, or Instagram.